Healthy Life on Great Television Show. Um, as usual, I'm your host, Christiana. Um, a Yes to Healthy Life is um, sponsored by Heduke Foundation, which is an NGO which creates awareness for various health issues um, that affect the general public. Um, as usual, um, Heduke Foundation is um, having a fundraising dinner dance in aid of uh, children, underprivileged children with sickle cells and then to help equip the Dangbe East District Hospital. And I'll urge all of you to try and grab a ticket. It's just 30 pounds for single and then 50 for couple. Um, try and be there. There will be networking. There will be various celebrities. So try and come and support this worthy cause. Um, today, um, we are here to discuss on a topic, and a topic that is like a health issue that affects most of us. Um, and this is back pain. And we are privileged to have here um, a very wonderful health professional um, who is here to explain and educate us more on the prevention and how to go by it if we already have this back pain. Um, thank you very much, uh, Madam, for coming. Thank you. Um, can you please introduce yourself? Okay. Yes. My name is Olivia Owusu, um, a qualified nurse. I've been qualified since 2008. Um, I've had various experiences and I hope today I will be of good help with back pain. Thank you. Thank You're you very welcome. much and thank you for your time. Um, when we talk about back pain, um, what, what is back pain? Okay, yeah. so back pain itself, um, if you look at yourself, if you look at your back, mm -hmm. there are various parts of the back. So from your neck, um, there's the cervical part, you come to the middle part of your spine, which is the thoracic bit, mm -hmm. and then you've got your lower back. Okay. So back pain, normally people tend to um, have common back pain, which is the pain of the lower back. And which is the common thing, but it, it might come about with it either sometimes it just happens with no reason, okay. sometimes it might be through repetitive actions, okay. or other times it might through maybe someone has have had a car accident, okay. or some, sometimes when people are overweight, mm -hmm. or when uh, through pregnancy. Okay. So it can come about through so many okay. ways, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, so um, as you've said, it might mm. come in various ways. What are some of the causes of this back pain? Okay, so uh, sometimes it might be strain. Mm -hmm. So let's say um, you you were carrying something too heavy. Yeah. You know, yeah. sometimes we think we are too strong. So let me lift this up. So, yeah. You do it not in the right, right posture. It, yeah. And yeah. then you might just twist or bend in the wrong way. Oh, okay. And then you get the niggling pain here and there. And oh, then right. it just develops into back pain okay. and other th times some people are pregnant mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. due to having a heavy um like pregnancy yeah. It, yeah. it gives weight on your hips and then through that it becomes a continuous thing okay. or sometimes through accidents as i yeah. said before yeah. Yeah. yeah okay um thank you so um we want to know as a health professional how mm. is um, the back structured if you could you can tell us a little, little bit, bit yeah okay about so it. the back is made up of um, 30 uh, 33 bones mm -hmm. and then there's um, 24 vertebrae okay. so between these vertebrae it's like just just a simple way for people to understand you've got two bread in the middle you've put butter yeah so in in between every vertebrae yeah. is a disc oh, okay and then on the side of them are the nerves that holds the spine into place so what when sometimes there are degenerational um changes in the disc okay. and then that might protrude which may be like um, if I should say just pressing on the nerve okay. so sometimes you, you might go to your GP and then they will tell you this is nerve pain no, okay. that means that there's something pressing on the nerve to give you that pain or sometimes the disc is wear, wa worn off okay. it's like having a car yeah, when you yeah. use it for a long time it will yeah, wear it will, off yeah. so yeah. your, your yeah. disc wouldn't be the same as you grow up okay. and then it might wear and tear okay yeah Okay, so um, with this back pain, mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us how these problems are diagnosed? Okay. Uh, so um, you, you, you've started having back pain. Mm -hmm. There is acute pain and there's chronic pain. Yeah. So if it's something which is just for the short term, then within the next few weeks, it should go away. But then if it's 
carrying on, you've taken counter medication, paracetamol, ibuprofen, is, you go to your GP, they might do a blood test, mm -hmm. they might do x-rays, yeah. or they might yeah. send you for an MRI, oh, okay. and that will diagnose what is happening. Okay. Yeah. Okay, viewers, um, as we are listening, um, you can send your text messages to um, this number, 075-488-57852, 075-488-57852. You can also send your questions and your, your messages through our Facebook page on Great Television, and you will definitely get your answer before the end of this program. Okay, um, when when is it necessary to see a doctor, like when you get this back pain? Mm -hmm. um, as I, I was saying, definitely if it's something which is not going to last for long, mm -hmm. within the next few weeks when you've taken pain medication, yeah. it should settle. Yeah. But then if it's getting worse and you think, I've taken tablets, it's not working, then I would say... It, it, it will be individual basis. Okay. Maybe somebody you think, I can't take this anymore. Mm -hmm, I would say mm -hmm. go seek advice from your GP. Have the x-ray. If it's nothing, you've got the peace of mind. If it's something, then the necessary treatment can carry on. Okay. Yeah. Um, can, can you tell us some of the treatments? That, that we can go for okay. when we get this back pain. Yeah. All right, so there's self-treatment. So okay. as a person, okay, I think I've got back pain. I could be going swimming. Mm -hmm. I could be going for daily walks. Okay. I, I could be doing more movement just not to keep still. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you went to your GP, they can give you exercises yeah. as well, yeah. just as a starting point. If that didn't go, they could give you stronger painkillers. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. as I said, at the chemist, you can only buy the basic, the basic medication, yeah. Yeah. but sometimes you might need something stronger so, mm -hmm. so they could refer you to the physio they can give you intense exercises oh, okay. just to help with the pain or the other way some people do acupuncture reflexology wow. so they are basic things that but the, everyone would um what's the word everyone would reflect to the treatment differently so oh, i can't okay. sit here and say acupuncture is, is the, the main best. cure because yeah. yeah. it, it would depend yeah. each person okay. yeah Okay, so um, what, what can we do as individuals mm -hmm. to help ourselves, like in preventing this kind of thing happening to us? Like, okay, so as I it. said, if it's sometimes, as I said before, weight can bring it on. Mm -hmm. So maybe you need to lose, lose weight. weight yeah. Or if you work at a desk place, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. go to work, sometimes we think we need to sit down and just carry on. Yeah you need to sit and stand in between mm -hmm. so maybe after every half an hour just get away from your desk walk oh, away okay. and yeah. come down yeah. and come back or maybe if you don't have the right chairs at mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. you need to make sure the chair is the right one yeah. make mm -hmm. sure when you sit you are so straight just keep the back in a good posture because okay. sometimes even when you're driving you've gone that way that, you're yeah. putting yeah. strain at the back so it's just these basic things just to help us oh, really okay. yeah okay so um, how long does these symptoms last, like for the pain, like how long does it last on us? Like With an acute back pain, they do say anything to less than six weeks. Okay. Should, if it's not something that is going to last long, then by then you should know this is going. Oh, if okay. it carries on, then, then yes, it's, it is going to be a, a long-term thing. And maybe with treatment, you might get over it, but you need the help that you do. Okay. Need, yeah. Okay, so um, why does some um, back pain become chronic? I did my research on that, uh -huh. and they were saying, some, as I started earlier, some things are non-specific, and they, they do cause some condition, non-specific pain. Yeah. So sometimes, as I said, you might just have done something repeatedly for a long time, and all of a sudden, you've got it. Okay. So they've done everything. You've gone for acupuncture. You've gone for physio. It's not helping. So now this is something that has become part of you. And all you need to do is just manage it as you go on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, my next question is, um, so what do we do if the pain is affecting what we do, like our work and then... Uh, daily activities. Like activities and stuff. Yeah. One thing they do say is just staying like sleeping a lot or staying at rest yeah. is not the best. Yeah. So if if let's say if you work in a shop and you are standing too much, yeah. then maybe you can speak to your supervisor and say, 
this part of the job doesn't help with the back pain can i be doing something that would help me sit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or if it's sitting then maybe you need to alternate it and have a bit of sitting a bit of standing or if the job itself is carrying heavy things that yeah. is putting a strain yeah. on your back then maybe it might it might be easy to say now but find a suitable job because it's health first more than yeah. anything yeah. yes okay um our viewers, um, let me see. Um, we have a few people logged in watching. Yes. Um, Mr. Akwesi Ose Ousu, thank you very much for logging in. Um, he says, well done. Okay. And then Madam Alice B., um, the woman with the golden voice, <laughs> um, as I call her, she said, good one. Thank um, thank you all. And then Auntie Charlotte, um, Adotete. Uh, thank you also for logging in. Um, Madam Sandra Alote is also watching. And then Kinsley Buedu as well. Uh, please send in your questions. And if you have any questions to ask our health professional, you can send those questions in. And um, she will definitely give you an answer. Yeah. Um, my next question is, um, so do we have uh, different types of back pain? If we do, can you tell us what they are? Okay. So as I said earlier on, um, some back pains are non-specific. Yeah. So they've done everything. You've had x-rays, you've had MRIs, but they can't really put a point to why you've got the pain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or sometimes, uh, if you've, it's a common thing. Some people go, I've got sciatic pain. So with that, you're getting the nerve impinging on maybe one of your vertebrae, yeah, the bone. Yeah. So it gives you that back pain that tends to shoot right from your back into mm -hmm, your legs. Mm -hmm. Some people get symptoms like numbness or tingling or shooting pain. So, or that. And then sometimes, as I said earlier, you've got disc in between the vertebrae. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. when you've had wear and tear, so as you grow older, definitely it's not the same as when you were a little person. So there's... There's wear and tear, and due to that, you, as you grow, you start getting degenerational disc uh, problems as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, for now, um, okay, so um, what are some of the effects um, of this back pain? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, how, how, does it yeah. Affect us? Okay. how so does back it affect pain, us? It can f affect every activities of daily living. Yeah. Definitely, it's a lower limb problem so it affects your mobility mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the ability to walk or using stairs sitting for too long or yeah. standing and definitely when you are in severe pain you cannot go back to the normal life that you can so if you are a social person that will not be anymore and if it affects you it affects your family even mentally it can have effect on you it's, it's, there's been researches that shows that people with long-term pain tends to be depressed and they are not depressed because they can't control but it's because the pain has an effect on your emotions and your mood as well okay yeah okay um, um viewers out there um you can send in your questions um as i said this program is sponsored by heduke foundation and uh, heduke is an ngo which uh, creates awareness for various health issues um, that affects the general public. And we are here today talking about back pain. And then one more thing, um, Heduke Foundation is organizing a fundraising dinner dance. And I'll urge everyone to grab a ticket to support this worthy cause. It's going to be a lot of fun and um, a lot of networking. Um, so we are going to take a break for now uh, from our sponsors. And then when we come back, we have a few uh, questions to ask our health professional again. So don't make a move. We'll be right back. Paduka okay. Foundation, in partnership with GN Group of Companies, present Charity Fundraising Dinner and Dance. Theme, When Love Takes You In. Date, 21st April, 2018, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Venue, Woodhill School, Woodhill, Woolwich, London, SE18 5JE. Tickets, £30 single and £50 couple. Performing live will be Alpino and the Ozio Man. This program is in aid of underprivileged children with sickle cell disease in Ghana.
Okay, welcome back viewers to Yes to Healthy Life. Um, as we were discussing about back pain, um, we are back to continue with where we stopped from. And we have um, Mrs. Olivia Owusu here um, educating us on what to do and how to go by it when we get this kind of back pain. Um, you mentioned, um, uh, you made mention of different types of back pains. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to us um, the types we have and then okay. yeah so um, the, as I said there is de degenerative um, back pain mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that is when you've had the de degeneration of the disc so uh, there's been wear and tear as you've, you've been going through your daily activities yeah. it doesn't stay the same mm -hmm. so when it degenerates it bulges out okay. of the space and then it, it's it's definitely it, it's not where it needs to be oh, okay. it's been structured in a way that it needs to be fitted nicely mm -hmm. so now that where is meant to be is coming out a bit more so definitely it will be causing pain yeah. and yeah. that is so there's degenerative um, disc problems there's arthritis oh, okay um, yeah. as we all know yeah. so when you've got arthritis in your spine you would get pain from that and there is sciatic pain as well mm -hmm. and sometimes it's just your your lower back not being the same from being a child and just giving you issues here and there okay. and we've spoken about strain sometimes just repetitive way not sitting properly you when you're driving you couch yourself yeah. so you are re repositioning your your disc into a different posture and mm -hmm. as you do it for a long time that would end up causing you problems as well okay um yeah. we we have a question from someone online yeah. mm -hmm. um Auntie Charlotte says, um, does childbearing affect back, back pain? It does. Uh, there's some people just get back pain from being pregnant. As I said, uh, some people have big babies. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when you have a baby, it's sitting on your pelvic. So just imagine the whole nine months of carrying this baby. It's putting the weight on it and it, it can dislodge it from the normal um, position of the hip. So after you've had it, mm -hmm. It will, the, the side effects will oh, kick in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So and you I, do. Okay. There's another question. Yeah. Um, Nana Mayabua. Mm -hmm. She says, can sleeping position affect back pain? And then what of mattress and pillows? All right. Um, yes, it can. I would say yes when you sleep. Some people sleep in awkward position. Yeah. So yeah. if you are definitely not keeping the back or your, your back in a good space and you are sleeping for a long period of time, definitely, as I said, it's repetitive strain on the disc again yeah. and on your spine. So it will give you that back. But what sorts of mattress or what sorts of uh, pillows. pillows to use i would say just pop into a good shop and they are orthopedic mattresses yeah, yeah. so i think they are purposely designed for such things but i'm not an expert on oh, that okay. so i would say they are designed orthopedic mattresses but i don't have one out of mind to say but if you popped into a good shop then they should be able to tell you depending on because i know there are some pillows that actually take the shape of your back oh, okay. and some mattresses are of a good posture not for you to end up with yeah, back pain yeah. and things like that so just ask around and oh the, thank god for the internet you can yeah, look yeah, up yeah. on it as yeah. well yeah okay um to me i i for some time i started having this back pain mm -hmm. um it became severe so i went to see my gp mm -hmm. and she recommended some exercises yes the book she gave me the exercises somewhere like sit-ups and stuff mm -hmm. so with this pain mm -hmm. at the back how how do i how can i manage manage it okay yeah. so definitely when you start because the your back is now sore mm -hmm. it will be painful yeah but it's a gradual process so it's that working through the pain. Okay. So you start, maybe today you can do a good two minutes of it. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then the, by the next day, you increase it to five minutes. Okay. And then as you work through, then you are telling the, the, the spine, we need to get you in shape. And then with medication okay. and everything. But what we tend to do is I'm doing it. I have pain, so I'm not doing it mm -hmm, anymore. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it is painful because it's not in the right, right place where okay. it should be. So okay. I would say work through the pain, not to kill yourself, but just pace up each day at a time yeah okay mm -hmm. so um how can we avoid this back pain from happening okay so um as i said some of it you can avoid it because mm -hmm. you don't know how it happened it could be i'm picking something i've just twisted 
and at that time it didn't cause, cause you any yeah. pain yeah. and then by six months you're going oh what's wrong with my back so some of it you don't know but the ones that i think you should be conscious of is when you sit make sure you are always upright mm -hmm. don't bend and curve your your back into a position because as yeah. i said repetitive again when you are driving make sure when you hold on the steer your back is straight, straight. with okay. the seat and okay. um, when you are bending picking up something you go on your knees make sure your hips are down and then you pick it up don't just stand straight and bend your back so so is that kind of just being conscious of what you are doing yeah, and yeah, not yeah. if you are coming out of a car i did see something on the internet you don't just come out with both legs at the same time oh, oh no you don't just come out one, one and yes. one you actually twist the whole legs out and oh, then you get up together okay. so it's just these basic things just to make sure but sometimes you are in a rush you don't yeah, really yeah, want to yeah. take your time and yeah. go one out first before the next one but it's just these basic things just just to keep your back in shape okay yeah um i i had i had about something about this back pain mm -hmm. um some are caused by uh, pregnant women uh, like during labor mm -hmm. uh, you know they give them this pain relief the this epidural. epidural yes yeah people complain that it's i've heard people saying that it's because of that mm -hmm. they get back pain like later on Out of how it, true yeah. is it and how um, does that affect I, you I, I, I have heard a few people, yeah. as you said, because definitely when you are in labor and they are trying to get the epidural in, it's, it's just trying to get into the spaces of the spine again. Yeah. But uh, definitely, I don't want to say things which I haven't done research yeah. about. Yeah. But definitely, if they are poking and doing all these things, then yes, there would be a sort of outcome. But I don't want to say things that I haven't got a, a good research for oh, someone okay. but i've okay. heard a few ladies say once they've had the epidural yes there, there's been up and, and back coming pain. Back, uh, back pain okay. afterwards yes okay and we we made mention of uh, medication mm -hmm. um are there side effect on some of this medication because i know um on the counter you can only buy paracetamol mm -hmm. um but to some of us when we see our doctors we get like stronger stronger ones, ones. Mm -hmm. are there side effects yes um, medications them. have side effects like paracetamol has side effects for constipation okay. ibuprofen if you don't take it before food you get ulcers and the same as cocodemol will give you dizziness so uh, most of the medications we do take they oh, are side okay. effects so there are things if you can manage it without you not being dependent on the tablet i would say choose that way because you think you are taking a stronger painkiller that some of them will give you constipation nausea it brings on dizziness mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you are actually incurring another condition on top of what you went to the gp for, for so okay. in the short term yes but unfortunately some people have got chronic pain oh. and they are dependent on the tablets they take okay. so it's just management again okay. yes but yeah okay. they do have side effects okay um my uh daniel daniel um oh yeah daniel said um she's a witness to this mm -hmm. um she said after her second child came up mm -hmm. she started having a back pain from this epidural mm -hmm. so um daniel thank you very much for watching us um i wish we we will we, we, we talk and talk and talk and talk and talk mm -hmm. but time is not going to permit us as we have to pave way for the next program um just to wrap things up can mm -hmm. you ad advise us um and then the viewers out there mm -hmm. on what to do if you have a few advice that you you want to give okay. out to the public so what um, i would say is uh, definitely if you've got the back pain and i know sometimes we we want to be strong and just go through the pain but if you've had it for so long as i said if it's meant to go away within the first six weeks it should be off oh, if it's okay. gone beyond that then seek help just oh, go okay. find out why you're getting that pain. An x-ray, an MRI will show more than just someone just looking at you. And then a basic acupuncture, swimming, physio can help because people have been cured by just going to physio and they've, they've got the right solution out oh, of it. Because okay. if, it, if it progresses, then you are heading your way to surgery in, okay. in the longer term. So you can prevent it by trying the, the little things first before getting to the big things. Oh okay yes um there's, there's one more question from a, a, a viewer no problem um she said does bowel movement causes back pain 
Um, no, um, some people get bowel problems due to having sevi severe yeah, back, back pain. Oh, okay. So okay. some people tend to have urinary problems or bowel problems when you've got severe back pain because okay. it's it compresses on your bladder and the the bowel. So some people tend to yeah, but not having constipation. But when you've got severe constipation mm -hmm. problems mm -hmm. yes then you would have a bit of symptom but in the long term i don't think just having a bowel problem would just give you just an automatic uh, oh, back okay. pain yes okay okay um viewers out there um i just want to say thank you very much um once again we've come to the end of um yes to healthy life um i hope we've learned a lot and thank you all viewers who are watching and who contributed. And I would like to say a big thank you to Mrs. Olivia Ousu. Thank you. Who is a health professional. And um, we've learned a lot from her. And I hope we'll invite her again thank to you. come Anytime. on here okay. um, and explain things more to us. Okay. Um, and then viewers out there, I would like to thank everyone, uh, my producers, uh, for making it possible. And then um, thanks to Hedrike Foundation, um, who are the sponsors of this uh, health talk show. Um, once again, Heduke Foundation is organizing a fundraising dinner dance. And I will urge everyone to grab a ticket. Tickets are £30 only, single, and then 50 for couple. Um, I want um, you all to come and support this worthy cause. You can get your tickets on eventbrite.co.uk or you can call this number 073 double nine triple zero four two four zero seven three nine nine zero 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 four two four we say heduke yes every life matters thank you thank you